जो देश जितना किसी दूसरे देश पर निर्भर है उतना ही उसके लिए संकट है जो देश जितना आत्मनिर्भर है वो उतना ही सशक्त है रियलाइजिंग द ड्रीम ऑफ अ न्यू इंडिया which should not be dependent on others to fulfill its needs the country is taking significant steps to become self reliant especially in defense recently first made in india light combat helicopters were inducted into the indian air force the lch developed by hal would be a big boost to indian air force's combat prowess Last month India achieved a historic milestone in defense as the country got its first ever indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant while India is ranked as the second largest importer of arms in the Indo-Pacific where does the country stand in self reliance In a recent study by a renowned independent resource on global security, Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, 12 Indo-Pacific nations were ranked according to the self-reliant arms production. While India is gradually emerging as a player in defense manufacturing, the study has ranked the country in fourth position. However, there is a catch. The study measured the self-reliance of the countries between 2016 to 2020. This means the study leaves out major strides taken by India towards atmanirbharta in the last 2 years. The study is based on three indicators of self-reliance of each country: arms procurement, arms industry, and uncrewed maritime vehicles. The study chose the maritime domain because the Indo-Pacific region is a maritime theater and navies play a major role in most of its flashpoints. The 12 countries were included in the study because they have the highest military spending in the region. CIPRI feels understanding and determining the extent of self-reliance is crucial for trust and confidence building among states in Indo-Pacific. According to the study, the world's fifth largest importer of arms, China tops the list. Japan is second, and South Korea is in third place. Pakistan ranks eighth on the list. China clearly had an edge between 2016 to 2020 due to its self-reliance policies and high economic growth in that period. China's high volume of imports accounted for only 8% of total procurement according to the study the lowest share for any of the 12 countries studied in the report notably China and India both have heavily relied on Russia for their defense imports while Japan and South Korea are major importers of defense equipment from the US उद्देश्य यही है और भारत एक इंपोर्टिंग कंट्री के रूप में पूरी इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी में रिकॉग्नाइज न किया जाए बल्कि हम एक्सपोर्टिंग कंट्री के रूप में ये हम भारत को रिकॉग्निशन एक मिले ये हमारी कोशिश है While the study shows that 84% of of India's total volume of defense procurement in 2016-2020 was of foreign origin and domestic arms companies provide only 16%. The country has witnessed a major shift in the last two years with steps in the right direction. India plans to emerge as a major arms manufacturer in Asia. To expand its footprint, India is inking deals with countries to highlight the country's growing defense manufacturing sector. In September, India decided to export missiles, rockets and ammunition including its Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launchers to Armenia. As Armenia struggles to control an uptick in violence with Azerbaijan, 
As per reports, India has signed Rs 2,000 crore deal to export anti-tank rockets and other ammunition to Armenia. In a historic missile deal, India and the Philippines signed a mega $374 million agreement today. Under the new deal, New Delhi will export BrahMos missiles to the Southeast Asian nation. With this deal, India has joined the elite club of a few missile exporters in the world as a part of the government's commitment to providing the armed forces with indigenously developed state-of-the-art weapons and platforms. The Defence Ministry issued three positive indigenization lists of 310 items. Among major Indian armed servicing companies are Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Indian Ordnance Factory, Bharat Electronics, Mazagao Docks and Kochi Shipyard. Ashok Leland is one of the largest suppliers of trucks to the Indian Army and Larson and Tubro is engaged in developing AUY prototypes for India on its own and in collaboration with foreign partners. With hostile neighbours, India aims to leapfrog in the defence sector to cement itself as a force to reckon within South Asia. हम वो लोग हैं जो बांसुरी धारी कृष्ण की पूजा करते हैं तो हम वही लोग हैं जो सुदर्शन चक्रधारी कृष्ण को भी आदर्श मान करके चलते हैं